So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with hypothalamus. The only problem is that all the hypothalamic hormones make kind of no sense without the rest of endocrine system. So we're not gonna spend too much time on hypothalamus, and we're gonna try to quickly jump to pituitary gland. Okay. So for hypothalamus. First of all, it's the main regulator of the endocrine system. There are several hormones that do not involve it, like parathyroid hormone and insulin and glucagon and a bunch of hormones coming from the secondary endocrine organs. But sort of the poster children of hormonal regulation are coming from hypothalamus. So hypothalamus produces a whole bunch of inhibitory and releasing hormones. So, growth hormone, releasing hormone, a lot of them are abbreviated, okay? So, you have all the full names in the notes, I just don't want to spend too much. So, growth hormone releasing, or releasing hormone, growth hormone inhibiting hormone. The names are basically giving away what the hormones do. So what does GHRH does? It releases growth hormone. Does that make sense? GHIH inhibits growth hormone. Okay? Um, TRH, thyrotropin releasing hormone. So it releases thyrotropin. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question, actually. When I tell, like, you, you, you're, you're nodding here. I'm telling you, oh, TRH releases thyrotropin, and you're all like, hmm, yeah. It's not, it's not an insult. Does it make sense to, like, what it does? Like, what, what, what's going on here? Okay, it releases thyrotropin, what's next? Do you know? It's okay to say, no, we don't. No, you don't. Because I told you. This is an illustration. This whole list makes no sense <clears throat> without other endocrine organs. This is why I'm not going to spend too much time on this shit. That makes sense? Good? We, it, it's, it's going to make sense in a very, very short time. So, same story. CRH, corticotropin releasing hormone. Whatever. Gonadotropin releasing hormone. Okay, it releases gonadotropin, so what? <clears throat> Okay. So these are main hypothalamic hormones. There are a couple more. So prolactin releasing factor, prolactin inhibiting factor. Now that huh? That makes a little bit more sense, I think. Hormone with the name prolactin. What do you think it does? Prolactin. What we're dealing with here? Lactin. Lactose is what? Where do you find lactose? Huh? Lactating, it's milk. Milk. Okay, so prolactin deals with milk, right? So again, okay, prolactin, prolactin stimulates milk production, so prolactin releasing factor will release prolactin, which will stimulate uh, lactation, and vice versa. Okay, that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Question. It's fine to have one. I don't have to be startled. Okay, good. Make sense? Well, actually it shouldn't. It shouldn't make any sense because it doesn't make any sense without other parts of endocrine system. And this is what I wanted to talk about next. I want to talk about the interaction between hypothalamus and pituitary gland. Okay? And this is really fundamental, and I can't help but noticing that when I draw a pituitary gland, it looks like 